Dom to this Mammoth team that is on a roll right now. Yeah, they're surging in the right direction at the right time. They won five straight, and you know that William and Mary swept them last year, so they're going to have a difficult one here on their home floor trying to get that first CAA win. Mammoth 7-4 and four in non-league. William and Mary played a very difficult non-conference schedule, and the Tribe are going to be led tonight by a player just gaining confidence each game in Bella Nascimento. And gaining confidence in that shooting. A sharp shooter had one of her best performances of the season versus Virginia Tech. 22 points and hit four threes on those 22 points. She leads the Tribe in scoring in the last five out of six games, and you've got to know she's going to will her team onto a victory. And for the home squad, we have Casey Donovan, averaging 14 and a half points per game, has really taken the reins on offense this season. She's been efficient, too, shooting at 41% from the field, 40% from three, and her consistency will certainly continue to help the Hawks keep the win streak alive. It's a whole lot of tickets been sold right now. How cool is it to see it translate from women's college basketball into the pro level? Yeah, I think that's super cool. I think all you know, college basketball fans should definitely, you know, come to the W with us. Well, guys, the scene is set for the Final Four, and we have a classic matchup. The number one undefeated South Carolina taking on the underdog in NC State. NC State has to play their best basketball to knock off South Carolina, and so far in this tournament, they have. They defeated Stanford, they defeated Texas on the road to the Final Four, and a big reason why, they've been knocking down the three-point shot. 42% from the three-point line is what they've been shooting these last two games. And guard Raven Johnson for South Carolina has been honest. We have to worry about the guards. We have to chase them off the three-point line, and we have to be disciplined. Tom, when you look at the film, what do you see about Princeton? How have they been able to get themselves on track? I mean, when everyone talks about the Tigers, they talk a lot about the offense, but the defense has been locked in thus far to give them that nine-game win streak. They're holding opponents to 58 points per game and forcing 17 turnovers. And not only, only that, they're feasting. 19 points a game off of those turnovers, so you got to take care of the basketball when you're facing the Tigers. Well, Tigers facing Cornell today, one of the Ivy League's youngest teams under head coach Dana Smith, and sophomore forward Emily Pape is putting together an all-Ivy League caliber campaign. Well, she really proved last season that she was a breakout player as a freshman, and now as a sophomore, putting it all together and trying to be consistent for her team. She scored in double figures in eight out of the last nine games, and she can really light you up from behind the arc, so you got to make sure you find her at all times. She She's trying to get her team their first conference win of the season. And for Princeton, forward Ellie Mitchell dropped a career-high 15 against Columbia last Saturday in a key Ivy League win. And you know, usually she's not the scoring threat, but something was just different against Columbia. She got co-player of the week with 14 points and 15 rebounds, and I'm always blown away with her high motor and her ability to clean up on the offensive glass. Seven offensive boards last time in that game, and it's a reason why she's ninth in the nation of getting all boards. Kayleen Smeichel, back-to-back 20-point -back games. She almost had 20 in the first half today. And it looked like she couldn't miss. She out there warming up right now, knocking down threes. But I mean, she was able to find her shot wherever out there on the court, knocking down the three-pointer. Also, just taking it to the glass, that burst of speed that I talked so much about. She's so good at just playing at her pace. And you're never worried with Kayleen Michael. She's just going to get you a bucket.
Well, guys, it is championship game day. So I ask you, will South Carolina be able to solidify their undefeated season, or will Iowa be able to get their first championship? For South Carolina, Coach Staley says it's important that we limit Hannah Stokey's offensive production. Last game against UConn, she had 23 points. She did everything she could on the offensive end to get Iowa that win. And Coach Staley said that, yes, we have to worry about guarding her, but she has to worry about guarding us. We can send all five players on the court at her. We're going to have to attack her and be aggressive. Iowa will have to protect the paint because South Carolina had 44 paint points against NC State in the Final Four. So they have to make sure that the rim protection is at all all-time high. Back to you guys. Into the paint, we are tied! <laughs> that was tough right there, playing the defenders, the fadeaway jumper. One thing Chen is going to do is she ain't going nowhere. I mean, she letting them know, did y'all forget? I was the outstanding player of the year last year, and that move right there was outstanding.